This is the second video in the series for Office Excel 2010 and um, it's also similar to 2007 as I mentioned in my previous video. Uh, one of the big differences is that instead of the file button in 2010 you have around what's called an office button. That's one of the big change. A lot of the other things are pretty much the same. In this video, it's going to be all about charts. So we're going to look at an example of a pie chart and a column chart. They made it very easy to make a chart. However, a lot of the other options are in different places um, in Excel 2007 and 2010. In 2003, it was easier to do a lot of the things. But once you get used to all the options, then it's pretty much easy. So I have this information here with names of people and the amount of sales they've done and I want to make a pie chart. And uh, the way I look at it is whenever you have two columns worth of information, pie chart will make sense. When you start having more than two columns, pie chart cannot make sense out of the information. So to make a pie chart, highlight the, your information, click on insert, there is an insert tab that is known as a tabs. And there is an option for pie. Now, in your case, you might have a word pie bigger because my video I made gift my video small. So you might in my case it's a smaller button. So I click on pie and I choose the first pie option and my pie chart is ready. Now one of the features in, in Microsoft Office 2010 and 2007 is that whenever you add any element in Excel you will see these tools here on the top like it adds this new tool if you look on the top I've got the design layout and format which are part of the chart tools and they only show up when you click on the chart so if I click outside somewhere now I don't see the chart tools when I click on the chart now I see the chart tools the first thing I would like to do is I can change the chart style so I click here for the more button and I can change it to a different style and they have a lot of different colors already created for you that you can change it to. The second thing you can do is you can work with the chart layouts that is how do you want your information to look so if you look in this section here for chart layouts you click here for more you can have them in percentages so when I click it I see my options like this the names on the top in percentages the first option will put the names and the percentages right in the pie itself. I can use the first button on the left hand side. It says change chart type. I click it and in this I can change it to a different style of a chart. Completely different. Or within the pie I can choose this one. So it will spread out the pie. Now it is done. If I go over to my information, which is right here, and I say I click on the sales figure, and say from 2500 for John, I change it to 4500. So now, John, which is uh, the blue color, will sh should have the bigger pie. So let's see, 4500, and then I hit enter, and now John has a bigger pie. And if I go and change the name from John to Paul, it will show up on the chart right away. And now if I click on the chart, I'll get my chart tools and I can go to the design tab. I can even click at after the last name and say I want to add a new person's name. And I add the person's sales. That sale is not added to the pie because when I created my pie, I had already highlighted only that information. So my pie chart does not know about that line so all I have to do is I click on this and when I click on the chart I get these lines around my information I just point to the corner of 3500 I get that arrow left click and hold it and I just pull it down now it has added that to the chart so again if I want it I can go to the design tab change the styles to whatever I want layouts and I can change the chart type. You can also use the select data option to highlight your data range which I just did earlier easy way of pulling it down. 
Now within the chart tools, you also have the options for layout and format. So if I go to layout, I can choose whether I want the chart title or none. If I choose none, it won't be there. Centered overlay or about chart. I can choose the legend. Right now, I don't have any legend, but I can choose to have the legend on the right, which is these buttons here, which tells me which color is which. I can have it at the bottom. The information within the pie is called data labels. I click on the option for data labels and I can choose outside because right now they are inside and now they are outside the chart. I can change the title of the chart by clicking on it, coming close to it, highlight it, and then I can type whatever I want. And the last button there is for format, in which there are some more options for styles and designs that I can use. I can even click on the title and I can apply a different style of a font on it. I also have an option, say I wanted to change the background color. I click on it and I can use this bucket to apply a different color. So as I point to it, they start to change. They also have an option for gradiency, so I can like apply a lighter shade of it. Or I can go to texture and I can apply a different texture. So it's under shape fill, texture, and I can apply a different texture. I can even change the colors on the pie. But when you do that, you have to be a little careful. So if I click on the pie, one of the pies, say I click on this pie for Paul, all of the dots are highlighted. So I need to make sure I click on it one more time. Now the dots show me that only Paul is highlighted. Now I can use the bucket again, and I can change the color. Click on the section for Lisa, and I can change the color. or I can even apply a texture on that. You can also put a background picture if you had some special pictures for work related stuff. You could, when you go here, you can choose picture and then you can browse to the file and then add it. So it will be a background picture showing up. Just coming back to the design tab, there is an option here at the end, it's called move chart. So instead of having my chart on this sheet, I can click on move chart and I choose the first option, new sheet, because I want to move it to a new sheet and I can call it whatever I want. I can call it chart one or I can just rename it to chart, pie chart or whatever you want to call it and I click OK. So now it's moved to its own sheet. If you look on the bottom, I've got sheet one, and then there is the pie chart. Now if I come here and add some other numbers or some other names and a number value to it. If I want to add this line to my chart, so I come to the pie chart. In the design tab, there is an option for select data. I click it. I can just move this guy on the side and you see the dancing light. I highlight all the information again and I click OK and it's done. So that is pie chart. I'll go to my sheet 2 where I have a sample typed for a column chart. So again I just highlight my information. I go to insert column and I choose the first one and my chart is ready. The same idea, I've got my chart tools. In the design, I can change the colors to whatever I want. I can choose a layout. There are different styles of layout. The especially good important one is the second layout on the second row. When I click on it, it takes the information and puts it and attaches it to the chart. That's called adding the table to the chart. 
I can even change the chart type to say a bar, like sideways. I can click a bar. Now it is sideways rather than standing up. Change chart type, column, and I can choose different designs that are circular, any one that you feel like. I can even switch the row and column. That is, right now the bars are showing me north, south, east, west. If I switch it, it shows me January, February, March as my bar. So you can choose whichever works best for your situation. Switch. You can even move the chart if you want it to to a separate sheet all its on its own. I can go to layout and again the chart title I can choose to have none and if I want to change the chart title click on it come close to the word C highlight it and then you can type the word if you wanted to change the font size or anything like that of it uh, I think I'll just do it that on the pie chart it'll be easier say if I want to change the font size on it I just click on it or easier just right click on it and you see this buttons and I can use this A increase to increase it same way say right now this data labels are pretty small so I just right click on it and you see all of them are highlighted and I can use this A to increase font and I can do that come back to sheet 2 there's my column chart so in the layout I can choose axis title, vertical, and I can rotate them in different ways. So now you see the title is standing upwards. And if I want, I just get close to it, highlight it, and say I want to put dollar because that's a dollar value. I just put a dollar sign. So you can go to axis title. I just change the way it looks. Legend, I can choose it. It's not needed because I already have a table. Data labels are not a very good idea when it comes to column chart because a lot of time they don't look good because they have just too much information on it. So if I choose say inside and you see it kind of looks weird. So it's better not to have a data label data table which is the table that's added to the bottom I can come here and choose to ha not have it or even from here I can have it and in the format I can choose the same options I can have different colors and apply whatever I feel like and I can change the background color by clicking there choosing the shape fill I can even change the colors on the bar. So say I click on this green color. Now all the greens are highlighted. Now I look use the fill, shape fill, and I can apply a different color. At this point, if I hit delete, because all of those bars are selected, now I don't have March as part of my chart. But while I'm here, I can just come back to my information, look for that arrow, left click and hold it, and drag. And I've added it again. So that's it for chart. Just realize that there are these three tabs here, design, layout, and format. That is where you can do a whole bunch of stuff. You can always use the right clicks, where you'll find the option for the bucket, which always stands for shape fill. The bucket. So you always have the right click option. And there's a whole bunch of stuff you can do. You change chart type, select data, move chart. Thank you for watching. This is it for video 2 of Excel 2010-2007. And I'll be making some more with more Excel advanced features. Thank you for watching.